Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, and have the light of life. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, my Savior, light of all creation, you make the daytime radiant with the sunlight, and to the night give glittering adornment, stars in the heavens. Now comes the days and as the sun is setting, mirror of daybreak, pledge of resurrection, while in the heavens choirs of stars appearing, Chapter beginning at the first verse. 
Moses summoned all Israel and said to them, These are the statutes and ordinances which you shall be careful to do in the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, has given you to possess all the days that you live upon the earth. You shall destroy all the places where the nations whom you shall dispose serve their gods, upon the high mountains and upon the hills and under every green tree. You shall tear down their altars and dash in pieces their pillars and burn their ephraim with fire. You shall hew down the graven images of their gods and destroy their name out of that place. You shall not do so to the Lord your God, but you shall seek the place which the Lord your God will choose out of all your tribes to put his name and make his happiness there. Thither you shall go, and thither you shall bring your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and the offering that you present, your votive offerings, your free will offerings, and the first things of your herd and of your flock. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice. You and your households, and all that you undertake, in which the Lord your God has blessed you, you shall not do according to all that we are doing this day. Every man doing whatever is right in his own eyes, for you have not as yet come to the rest and to the inheritance which the Lord your God gives you. But when you go over the Jordan and live in the land that the Lord your God gives you to inherit, and when he gives you rest from all your enemies round right about, so that you live in safety. Then to the place when the Lord your God will choose to make his name dwell there, thither you shall bring all that I command you. Your burnt offerings and your sacrifices, your tithes and the offering that you present, and all your votive offerings which you vow for the Lord. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God. You and your sons and your daughters, your manservants and your maidservants, and the Levite has been in your towns, since he has no portion or inheritance with you. Here ended the lesson.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, the 17th chapter, beginning at the 11th verse. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered the village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance and lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went their way, and as they went, they were cleansed. Then one of them, when he saw that he was hurled, healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice, and he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving him thanks. Now he was a Samaritan. Then said Jesus, Were not the ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Here ended the lesson. providence ordereth all things both in heaven and earth. 
we only beseech thee to put away from us all harmful things and to give us those things which are profitable for us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of all enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace in this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised to thy well beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, thou wilt be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and in the world to come life everlasting. Amen. Sing ye faithful, sing with gladness, wake ye no glass, sweeter strain, with the praises of your Savior, let his house raise up again, in the hall your music honor, and your songs exalt his name. Sing how he came forth from heaven, bowed himself to Bethlehem's cave, stooped to wear the servant's vesture, for the pain of cross the grave. As within the gates of darkness, bends his vanished ones to say. So he tasted Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.